try to get you a little video of these babies here. The eggs have hatched. It's been about a week and a half since I noticed them. It happened pretty quick, I'd say roughly, I mean, they couldn't have been there more than a couple days before I saw them. So it's probably about a two week incubation period. I came in and looked at them earlier and the egg sac was just laying on the ground in the tank. So I panicked. Made myself a little hatchery for them and uh, went to go scoop up the egg sac and they just started darting out everywhere. It was like a firecracker on the 4th of July, these little things coming out of there. So I hunted them all down with a turkey baster. Got them all into this breeding net. Put the egg sac in there. And they're doing pretty good. And my turkey baster. I don't see any like these swimming around. They're pretty lazy little fish. But they've had a rough day. I don't blame them. There they go. There goes some of them. They're all alive so far. And they're probably still so <coughs> soaking up their yolk sacs. I'll go get some brine shrimp. These guys are a little bit big for newly hatched brine shrimp, so I'm going to let mine grow out a couple days. I'll have a couple days of buying brine shrimp and uh, they're a little bit bigger than I thought they're about the third of a size of a pencil eraser look just like a, one of the adults if you really look up close at them they're pretty cool I don't know I can't see the screen so I don't know if it's picking that up or not There's a bunch of them in there. Very, very excited. Now if I could just get them to live. I mean, nobody knows how long it takes for them to get even an inch big, so. There goes a couple. I'd be willing to bet if I gave that egg sack a squirt right now, a bunch more would come out of their eggs. That's how it, it's been kind of going. Try not to do that too much though. And I'll just see if I can get this breeder net any closer to the front of the tank tomorrow so I uh, get a little bit better view of them. I'm going to split them up into groups. i got three of these breeder nets. I'm going to split them up into a few groups to uh, maximize feeding and minimize them eating each other. So far, so good. I, I honestly, when I thought, when I, when I saw that uh, egg sack on the ground today, I, I, I honestly thought they were all going to die and they were all dead. But man, I'll tell you what, I jumped about three feet in the air when those things started popping out of there. When I was m moving it in my hatchery. So, anyways, looking good. Let's see if we can get them to live for a little while. For a long time, hopefully. Still a lot more to come out. There's a bunch in there. I figure the mom was flapping around pretty good the last few days that I've seen, so rolling that egg stack around can't be all that bad. I'm trying not to do it too much though. But yeah, there's look at all of them underneath there. There was a bunch underneath there. And there's still, like I said, at least however many's out, there's still that many still in that egg sack. Just waiting to come out. Hopefully they'll eat some brine shrimp for you tomorrow. We'll see. I will keep you guys updated.